Hello and welcome everyone. We're here in Valheim. I've uh, been a little busy. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> hey, Floof. I just, the animals are going insane. That is very neat. Ooh, are my onions ready? They are. I'll have to deal with this in a minute. I've, uh, I've tweaked the base a bit. I've got my little garden area here. But because, uh... Yeah, that's... I need to look into that. That's awesome. <laughs> be about that is very neat about the Bob's Burgers movie up so um, apparently they've been work the sidewalk in front of Bob's Burgers has been slowly breaking apart over time and it's all prepping for the movie I don't need to do that anymore I change this. What happened to my green screen? Damn it. Animals! One moment. So because the, uh, oh, hello, troll. The last time I tried to do the elder battle, it did not go very well. I mean, it went fine, but the battle wasn't actually seen. Huh? Real funny. <laughs> I was like, I made sure I was unmuted. Um, because the, uh, I was having issues with my internet at the time. The I started the battle and it was cut off part way through. Um, now I have full silver armor. I'll get in some sunlight so you can see it a little better. So I'm going to destroy the Elder right now. That look awesome. Okay. Let my stamina recharge. Okay, my dear. Oops. 
Nope, out of stamina. Yeah, so clearly, the last time I fought this boss, uh, I was a bit weaker. Hey, Tories! And now, I just chewed his face off. So, um, what ended, what, ended, uh, what I ended up having to do the last time I did the boss fight, I had to, uh... I actually had to... That's okay. But the, the first time I did that fight, I had to stand back and shoot him with a bunch of fire arrows. Uh, I'm quite a bit stronger now. <laughs> way better armor, way better weapons. There's a troll I murdered. I'm just gonna leave it alone, because I don't need any of that. And... there we go. Hey, Beagle. It's a bit dark in here. So I, I made this, my old house, a hub for all my tele, all my portals. In my new house, I have a, uh, a lovely portal area. I put up these trophies. That's a cultist trophy, a drake trophy, an abomination trophy, a troll. This is just a wolf. That's the first boss. That's the boss I just destroyed. And this is a certling, which is a little fire monster. Valuables. This chest is empty. Anything uh, that's got stuff in it. This one's empty, so I'll just put this extra swamp key here, along with that trophy. Because I don't need one. So I noticed these two, the Forsaken trophies, the bosses, actually talk to you every so often, which is kind of terrifying. But, you know, kind of neat. Alright, it's night time. Goodness, I was thirsty. I've also run into a few new um, world events. Do I have more obsidian arrows? No, I don't. That's fine, I can make plenty more. Do a little hunting. Actually, first I need to gather my onions. So I've got my uh, updated garden. Got a Grey Dwarf Shaman trophy on my stone arch. onions. I'll do some cooking. So once I defeat Motor, there's only one more boss, and that's Yagleth. There's going to be a bunch more. I'm not going to progress as quickly um, as I've been doing once I get past Motor. Part of that is the way I've been farming resources is going to change significantly. 
So what I've had to do for each tier is I've had to go mining. The only way to get black metal, as far as I know, is to actually... Uh, I don't know if it, that they're fullings or fuelings, but they're the, uh, the main enemy component to... Um, to the planes. So what I'm going to be doing with them is, uh, they drop black metal, which is going to be the new thing that I have to find. I'll hydrate in just a moment. I have to get my cultivator. Cultivators over here. Plant a couple of onions. garden set. I'm going to have to go hunt some birds. I need more feathers because I'm going to need to make a bunch of obsidian arrows. Probably going to use just about all my onions. <laughs> Still got some to cook with. I need mushrooms, onions, and oops, wolf meat. Should get me. A wolf skewer. Those are worth 65 health. They are excellent.
Wolf Skewers can go there. Okay, here comes my hydrate. Got a new bow, the Draugr Fang. This bad boy. It's ridiculous. Probably shouldn't be using the obsidian arrows that I'm saving for the boss fight, but... Well, you do live in South Canada. Yeah, it was about 90 here today. So, uh, the opposite of snow. Get out of here. I feel like snow on the ground is normal for Minnesota. Am I am I mistaken about that? Usually there's a couple of gulls and some, some other types of critters around. I need something to drop feathers. slow process. Dang it! There's a bird in my courtyard. We're running into a problem right now where our pool is eating chlorine. It's just slurping it down. Trying to get it all sorted out, it just isn't cooperating with us. Put some, uh, put some chlorine. No, actually, it's just, it's a big pool. Well, it actually goes down to eight feet deep, which is uncommon now. Oh, I forgot I made these. So I made some root armor. I made some uh, Fenris armor. That's my old iron armor, and that's my old bronze armor. Eventually, my wolf armor is going to be in here. Except for the cloak. I'll still have the cloak. Yeah, but if I did the math right, um, the length, width, average depth of our pool should be about 50,000 gallons. Um, but part of it is it's got a leak. I mean, it's the pool is just... 
it's a whole thing. Today, I threw in our pool cleaning robot. In the past couple of days, we had seen some stuff. We were like, is that sand? The only reason you're, you should see sand in a pool is if you're at the beach and somebody didn't shower off. If you're not, and there's no sand anywhere nearby, your filters are torn up. So, um, it appears as though our filter, one of our filters is broken and it's dumping sand in the pool. We didn't think, I, I, I was afraid it was sand and I reached into the pool and I started touching it on the steps. I was like, okay, it's not sand. It's like, we just blasted the pool. It's probably just a bunch of algae that's basically turned to ash and goop that we've got to get out of the pool. It'll clear up. It'll be good. And you know what? For about two days, it was starting to look nice. It was starting to clear up. Uh, and then the stuff that was left behind was building up on the bottom. We were brushing it, trying to get it out. Uh, and it settled pretty quickly. And the, and the little pool robot went over it. We picked up the little robot... His, he, he's full of sand. Um, so, one or both of our filters is broken. I've got the uh, equations for figuring out how much of different chemicals I need to add to the pool to get it to balance out the way it needs to. Thankfully, yeah, it's not good. Thankfully, everything is balanced correctly with the exception of our pH is fluctuating a little bit but our chlorine count is not changing at all at first I was afraid we had um, dang it at first I was afraid we had uh, bleached out the test kit if you've got too much chlorine like over 10 parts per million when you put the uh, when you put the the reagent in to get your your color change, to measure the chlorine, it actually bleaches it clear. So you can't... You can't tell how much you've got. So to buy, to sort of figure it out, I, um, I found out you can... Sorry, I found out you can dilute the test. You can do a one... You can do a one-to-one -one with your sample water and regular tap water. Uh, and then it'll... It'll give you a better reading. You just have to multiply your reading by two. So, like, if it if you were reading a five, you're at a, or if you were reading a uh, a seven, you'd be at a fourteen. So, um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a whole thing. I'm looking for feathers. I'm looking for birds. I can murder to collect feathers. I hadn't been needing any, and I'm starting to get to the point where I'm going to have to make a bunch of arrows. I'm going to need to hold on to some of them. Everything's all shiny out here. I can't tell what's what. Ooh, a bunch of mushrooms. But we're supposed to take samples of the pool and test them three times daily. Um, there's a bunch of stuff we don't have that we need. We're supposed to have the flow direction marked on all of our pipes in the pump room. We're supposed to have a spigot with a backflow valve. Ooh, nice. That sounds fun. I always love that. Today, me... Well, um... I, I said if you do it, I will. Uh, but today, one of the guys threatened to quit. Um, because the cleaners were hired to... Are you kidding me? Bite? It's a sex-based term. Get out of here, Automod! 
Stop pearl clutching. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid auto mod. <laughs> I know. Listen, we were discussing potato soup because I was making some crock pot potato soup one day, and I'm not kidding you. It banned half of the conversation. You're like creamy, sexual, sexual term. It's like it's also a soup term. <laughs> Gracious. Come on, Grayling. What you got? <laughs> um, but we paid cleaners to come into an apartment and clean the apartment. So what they did was they took everything that was in the apartment on the ground and they picked it up, they walked it outside, and they dropped it in the grass. They swept the por the porch off. They closed the sliding glass doors, they mopped inside, and they were like, it's clean. Uh, Cody took a picture of all the stuff outside, and he walked into the office. He said, you get them to come back and pick this up, because if you tell me to pick it up, I quit. You paid them to come clean the apartment. They did not clean it. They're cleaning it. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I'm right there with you. Oh, nice. Super awesome. Birds. Birds. I love that kind of stuff. It's just excellent. Ooh, two-star skeleton. What's up, Skeletony? Bye-bye. All right, get rid of these bone fragments. And that skull, I don't even want that. <gasps> A bird. Sweet. Give me those feathers. <laughs> God. I love people. They're so great. Speaking of people being ridiculous, um, it kind of goes both ways here. So we've got golf carts, uh, and we have the office has a golf cart. Um, maintenance has three golf carts. Um, now maintenance has basically taken control of all four of them. Is there a troll? I heard something deep. Troll. Um, but maintenance has basically taken over all four of the golf carts. So we, um, we have to go to the opposite end of the property to get the two gas carts that me and, uh, Mike use. We, uh, <laughs> Cody was driving us over there along with our groundskeeper, Alyssa, and we had to take, like, a little back path to get to the golf cart container because people just park in the parking spaces even though we made a, a, a gravel path that leads up to them that should say hey guess what we park here please get out of the way but Alyssa was like I wish you wouldn't drive so crazy over all the plants here she's like plants have feelings too he's like oh really so he starts driving like off-roading into the into the shrubbery tearing stuff up. it's all like overgrown stuff that the landscapers should be coming back but they aren't uh, and Cody stops, he, like, looks over at her and goes, Can you hear the screams? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Who <laughs> is moving the wall? Yes. 100%. Didn't you know? It's the ghost of Christmas past. He comes in to move walls. Well, you can move some walls. Usually they're in a sound stage. Um, you know. <laughs> so, <gasps> is that a goal? Did it take off? Curse you, goal! I need your feathers. 
Crow? Crow, yes. No, don't, no, don't. There we go, yes. Dang it! My hands were in the wrong spot. Birds. How come when I'm running through the woods most of the time, there's like 40 birds hanging out, and now that I'm hunting you, none of you are around. This bow also has a chance to apply poison, which is neat. <laughs> See, I love that kind of stuff. I love when residents call in. We had one lady call us. She's insane. Like, we are not allowed to go into her apartment unless there's at least one other person with us. Preferably a female. It's that good. Um, it's because one time, one of the guys went in there and she was talking about, oh yeah, you know, I was raped and the police, they were laughing at me. They said that nothing, we were like, okay, no, just no. Nobody is, nobody is coming here unless there's multiple people and there's at least one female to corroborate the story of the men. <laughs> it's great when you have to do that kind of stuff to just go to work. Ugh. Yes, crow. No, crow. Yes. But that one lady, um, she told us that her family has been running a heating and air company for 70 years. She knows heating and air, and she knows her heater isn't working right. We get into her apartment, and we said, Ma'am, did you know your thermostat is turned off? She's like, what? We turn the thermostat on, and we wait in the apartment with three people with temperature guns. We turn, <laughs> wait in there for 20 minutes, and the, heat, the heater's blowing out 110 degree air. It's working. Oh. Huh. <laughs> it's weird how it doesn't work when you don't turn it on. <laughs> they never do. I was a plumber for 40 years. I know there's something wrong with it. Okay. So if you were a plumber for 40 years and you clearly know more about this than I do, be my guest. Have at it. I'll gladly go back home <laughs> to my wife. <laughs> Since I'm here after hours because you just can't be bothered. I also love, uh, we also get emergency work orders called in for stuff that's not emergencies. One lady called the emergency line. She said that her sink is leaking, and it has been leaking for a week. She called this in on Holy Thursday at 4.30. We leave at 5. And we're off on Good Friday. So... I mean, if you knew it was leaking, why did you not call us sooner? Well, come to find out, it's because it's not leaking. Her faucet is just dripping into the sink, and that's the big emergency. Oh my god! It's not an emergency. Stop calling me about that. I'm not coming out for it. Sorry. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye Nice. Uh, did you get paid for both of those jobs? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> kind of meandering through the black forest looking for birds well I'm more kind of meandering and reading my chat instead of looking for birds <laughs> oh 
Okay, so listen to this. My brother, my youngest brother, uh, one of his friends, uh, his stepdad, uh, I think his name was Chuck. Um, he was he's paralyzed. Um, he was in the Paralympics. He was a weightlifter at the time. So he, um, he and several of his other weightlifting buddies actually went to Arkansas and they stopped at Toad Suck, Arkansas during the Toad Suck Festival. <laughs> it's like, okay, first of all, we're leaving. I don't care what's happening here. I don't care what this festival is about. I don't want to stay at Toad Suck during the Toad Suck Festival. We're going. <laughs> I was like, did you ever find out what it was? He's like, no, we left. We didn't want to find out. <laughs> Get out here, Skeletor. Is this... I know where I am. There's that troll that's over there. Deer ticks are fun. What's up, troll? Oh, I know. My my maintenance supervisor is a female. So, I get that. <laughs> Good gracious. People are so ridiculous. You can't even make that kind of stuff up either. Do I have feathers in here? No, I don't. Uh, let's just go back to the meadows. Like, that happens sometimes when I'm in an apartment with my supervisor. Oh. Here be bats. Where are you, bats? Did they kill a boar? So every so often there's events here, and uh, this is you stirred the cauldron. A lot of them only start after you do certain things. Like I, once you defeat Bone Mass, <gasps> Gull. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, give me them feathers. Come on, bats. There's too many of you. Anyway, what I'm saying was, I'm very tempted to not help my supervisor at all. Whenever somebody's like, uh, you're a, you're a woman, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, okay, well, guess what? I'll just stand here and hold the flashlight, let her do it and prove you wrong. <laughs> Granted, most of the time I don't have to do that because she usually goes, hold my beer, and she just, you know, she just goes and fixes it. And doesn't ask for any help at all. Which is irritating. I'm like, 
you know you need somebody to at least help you hold that thing up. It's way too heavy. <laughs> Hell, it's, it's hard for me to do it solo. <laughs> you want somebody to help you hold that while you put it up. Nice. It's like we've got a our new groundskeeper is a is a young girl. That I mean she's like 18. <laughs> maybe maybe she's 19. I just, I just don't know what to do with her. You know, she's she's great. She's a super great person. But, I mean, when you show up to work and later in the day you get a text. like So, in her defense, she's got to work three properties. She works at two of them Tuesday and Thursday, and she works at mine Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so... She just, she'll go around and she'll pick up for like 45 minutes to an hour. And that's it. That's all. There's like 330 units. It's a big property split kind of in two places. Um, when we would, went before we hired her, I would spend 45 minutes picking up around four buildings. Much less the rest of the property. Nice. Um, that's pretty incredible. Um, but, so they're saying that she's first. I, I always love this kind of stuff. We were asking her, well, when, it, when is she going to be ready to take on-call? Because our maintenance supervisor does not do on-call anymore. When they stuck her in the new position. Because she basically runs three properties now. Um... They told her that she doesn't do on-call anymore. They're not going to pay her mileage for it. She, they're just not going to pay her to do on-call. She's there to run three properties, and that's it. So now we go from four people running a four-person property to three people running a four-person property. Where's this deer meat go? There it is. And so she would handle... She would do work orders, and Mike would do work orders. So we had two people doing work orders. And now we've gone to one person who does work orders, but there's a lot of residents that we have to have two people going in because they're insane. We have to have a, you know, a second set of eyes just so we can prove, no, I, he didn't take her pills that she's saying that were stolen. I promise you, I was there the whole time. <laughs> so, they told, she told us it'll be about a year before she's ready to take on call. Then they dropped the, oh, well... I'm not going to be doing on-call anymore. So, you guys, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change my hat. Yeah, they're not going to pay for body cams. They are not going to do that. Here we go. That's a little better. Um, so, we've got these... Apartments where we have to have two people going in because people are insane. And oh, it's Odin. What's up, Odin? There's some skeletons out here. I forgot what I was. Right. So they told us it would be a year before she's ready to take on call. Then they dropped the oh, well, Alex can't do on call anymore. She's going to be the one handling you know the other the rest of the properties so no she's not going to be doing that they hit us with once they tell us that then we find out that Alex is like oh no she'll be ready to do on call in July so July be ready in July so you went from I don't know 
they went from telling us it's definitely going to be a year to, don't worry, it'll she'll be ready to take it in July. One of the guys I work with is like, okay, so here's what's here's the deal. I'm gonna hold them to July if they're like, well, she's not ready. It's like, okay, well then you're gonna hire somebody who is ready, and we can teach her more. But I'm not doing on call multiple times. I mean, this month he's got on call twice, twice in the month. Next month I've got it twice, and then in June he gets it twice again. Would you quit throwing rocks at me? So that's the the whole thing about it is. I mean, it'd be different if we were on if on call worked differently, but literally for an entire week you're on call for 24 hours. Anything happens in that 24 hour time period that's considered an emergency, you have to go out to it. I mean, and some stuff that's not listed as emergencies. Uh, one resident told the answering service that they had sewage in their tub, and I had to come out. Was it sewage in their tub? No, it was just old standing water that had been there for a while. Um, and that was it. So, it's just a whole thing. Um, but... So my point about her, the young girl who's our groundskeeper, um, when she shows up to work, she's like, she isn't, when she goes into units with us, she's not asking us questions about anything. I've tried teaching her a couple of times, but there's just, there's like no drive. You know what I mean? It's just kind of whatever. And then she goes and she sits, she like leans up on the counter and she texts or looks at stuff on her phone for pretty much the whole time. She doesn't bring any tools with her. It's like, I get if you want to learn, I can teach you. I've been teaching and training for a while. But if you just sit there quietly and you don't say anything to me, I can't. I can't help you. We've mentioned it to mentioned it to a couple of people. I mean, and when you sh when she's at another property, and like this happened, property manager called us and said, "Hey, uh, one of the residents just complained about the amount of trash behind the 1041 building. Can you guys go pick it up?" We were in the middle of trying to turn an apartment, and we're a week behind, and now we have to stop what we're doing to go pick up trash behind another building. When we pay somebody whose whole job is to pick up trash. You know, that's where I get irritated about all that. <laughs> be different if she can't, like, I mean, Tabitha came to work with me on Saturday, and I bought her a tool set a while, a while back. And she was just she grabbed her tool set, she was excited, she came in, and she was like, what do I need to do? Tell me what I need to do, and I'll do it. Show me what I need to do, and I'll, I'll go figure it out. It's like, okay, sure thing. I can work with that. Yeah, Tabitha is. <laughs> of course, then when we got back, when we got back home like the next night or the next that day, she fell asleep real early, and the next day she's like, "I'm sore." It's like, well, I mean, you did a lot of moving around and you know a lot of different stuff. Did a bit of work. Not she doesn't. Not that she doesn't work during the day. She's just in an office working. 
because she's the property manager. She doesn't need to be out running around with us. It is 100%. But I would rather do this any day of the week than anything having to do with retail. I believe it. Let's see, 65 health. How much? Yeah. 55 health. Grab some ice cream. Okay. I can probably... Let's see, I'll get some health, stamina. Let's see, I shouldn't... I won't need my build hammer, so that'll come down here. That'll be health, and that'll be stamina. Ugh. No thanks. I'll pass on that too. I'm still in my winter weight. <laughs> Where I go inside apartments and just kind of huddle up and work. Instead of running around in the heat. That's about to start changing. <laughs> Although when I did stream full time I lost a bunch of weight. Just because I was sitting at the computer all day. You know, like prepping streams and trying to figure out the best way to do stuff and then um, I ended up I should probably make more arrows I ended up uh, barely eating anything at all <laughs> just lost weight which is super not good for you but it happened so <laughs> you know slot. Go back here. Put my feathers away. We'll go see if we can deal with motor. I think I'm ready for that. I've got some stamina brew. I have some healing brew. Does this have any negative effects? Generate stamina fast. Stamina 80. Health over time. 75. Okay. Ooh. Thankfully, I haven't had to do it, but I get it. Ooh, you know what I should do? Oh, that was the other portal nearby. Oof. Yep. Nope. <laughs> no thanks. Where is motor? We go. So I built this last night. I sort of built a little hidey hole out here in the frozen north. You know, I changed my mind. We're still going to do it, but first I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to sleep. Get up. Go. That way it'll be early, it'll be first thing in the morning. By the time I get over to motor, it'll be light enough. I just don't want it to hit nightfall and uh, everything fall apart on me. Oh, 
All right. Can't sleep at this time. Okay, well, forget it. If I can't sleep now, no point. We're going. guys weren't here earlier. I, um, I'm gonna slow down a little bit once we defeat Motor. Um, mainly because going and getting the best armor is gonna be way grindier. I have to actually fight a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've gotta work on building out my base a little more. Dragon Egg's weight, um, 200 pounds each. I'm gonna do a quick glance around, see if there's any drakes or anything that are gonna come at me when I do this. Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, so I don't know if you heard what happened. Um, Speaking of renegotiating, you know, when I was at GameStop, um, they actually, it was right when the Obama administration had made, they passed that law, they did that, they did that weird thing that made it to where companies were supposed to pay their employees more, uh, but it ended up just causing a big hoopla, and I don't remember what all happened from there, um, I just remember that happening because I knew a couple of people who ended up working like 70 hours a week and their companies made them cut way back on their time and just a bunch of other stuff happened. Um, the GameStop hired, they made me the store manager of the Northport location, um, but they were like, oh yeah, so your manager salary, because you're not really the manager, you're the temporary manager, your new salary is the overtime that we pay you when you work 50 hours instead of the 40. I was like, uh, that's not a pay raise. I like, guess it is. So, no, you're paying me the same amount. In fact, you're un you're way underpaying me, and they didn't want to hear none of it. Holy crap! I was not ready for that. Oh my god. Holy balls. Stamina recharge. Good God, motor almost killed me. The f in the opening blows. <laughs> Just gonna hang out behind that rock. I'm not gonna complain. That sounds like uh, I'm about to take off and battle you some more. Did read something about the terrain here confusing motor when it's just one person. Nope, that looks like that's take off. Rat baskets. Oh, there's regular Drake's coming in. I 
I was not worried about this fight at all, and I was suddenly very worried about it. Alright, I'll do my best. Enjoy work. Or don't, whichever you prefer. Okay, can I shoot at that? Nope. Okay, let's try something here. This probably is not a good idea. Oh! That's a very bad idea. Okay, first tactic. Hide behind big things. And just sort of chew away at health. Poison damage is working. Oh no! Ow. Stamina. I might have to run back to the house just to repair my bow. <laughs> is ripping this area apart. Get out of here, rocks. I don't need you to weigh me down. I don't think I made enough arrows either. The bow's applying poison damage, even if it is just a teensy, tiny baby amount of damage. <laughs> All right, come on, stamina, recharge. But the sad thing is I'm using the second best arrows for this boss fight. Careful over there, that's my house. It's not my house, it's my outpost. Oh god, stamina. Hold on. Recharging. Very different fight than I thought it was gonna be. It's not often that you almost completely annihilate your opponent, your opponent in the opening salvo. That's almost what happened to me. <laughs> I 
type motor. I saw a post on the Valheim subreddit. The other day, it was just labeled um, Karma's a Beach. And a troll was chasing somebody. They had they they had wounded the troll, but they were having trouble fighting it. They actually turned around, ran from the troll, it was charging them, and it was holding the tree like a club. Actually swung at them, missed, hit a beech tree, and it came tumbling down and crushed the troll to death. Not out of stamina. I'm gonna have to do this fight again so I get a motor trophy for my house. I'm not gonna do it tonight though. That'll be a later thing. <sighs> Did a lot of damage. Charge. I'm just out of well rested, which means my stamina is going to be recovering a lot slower. I guess they didn't work on motors, but motors AI very well. I think this boss is designed for a multi-person fight. Like it's built for that kind of thing. And it gets way better at that than it is one person. Get away from that house over there. Oh. I was like, oh god, what fresh hell is this? Stop missing. It's enough of that. Ow. getting dark. It could, could be a real problem here soon. 
the darkness, uh, one and two star wolves start to spawn. Which means... Um... Badness. Close. I'm glad I upgraded uh, the Draugr Fang all the way. So close. is done. Boss 4 in the books. Now I just have Yagloth. Yagloth or how you say it. And I'm done with Valheim. It's going to be a while though. I'll probably still play it when I'm done streaming it though. Artisan table. Wood. Must build artisan table. Blast furnace, stone oven, windmill, spinning wheel, iron nails, leather scraps, fine wood. Wood, iron nails, blast furnace, stone, certling cores, iron, bread oven, or stone oven, 15 iron, 4 certling cores. in there. My rocks, which I didn't mean to pick up. Alright, I have to go put the motor trophy where it belongs.
Oh, it's the worst. You dream about getting up and getting ready for work. Going to work and doing stuff, and then you wake up, and you've just woken up for the day. I need to build a portal out to the spawn area. Headquarters. I think the only way I can process black metal is in the blast furnace. So I have to make a blast furnace, which means I've got to go back to the swamp. I've got to collect more, uh, whatever they're called. I've got to collect more iron. I think I processed all my iron scraps, and, or all my scrap metal, scrap iron into uh, iron ingots, and I've used most of it upgrading my current tools and equipment. <laughs> First boss, second boss, third boss. Fourth boss. Long ages past, he wore a crown beneath a blood red sky. Now, naught is left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. Yagluff. Yeah, the fifth and final boss, currently. What's up, piggies?
Is Pygmalion still out here? You are Pygmalion. Hope we've got chlorine in the pool tomorrow. I want to check it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to go crazy. Add some more pucks to the chlorinator. Well, no, I got to check the pH balance first. Because what I've been doing is I've been I was adding uh, chlorine granules at the formula that I need in order to get chlorine to show up in the pool. Um, problem is that the granulars the the granules are basic in which you know they're a base so they actually raise the pH of the pool so my pH is actually up from what it was I'm sitting at look like a 7.8 or an 8 and it needs it needs to be at 7.5. That's what it needs to be at. But it's you know. 7.8 is actually the very like edge of the acceptable threshold. The very like maximum it can be at. tablets. I've been calling them pucks because they're about the size of a hockey puck. Um, those are very, very acidic. So they can lower the pH in the pool. That's right, you can't craft anything at the artisan table. You just need it to craft things. Ten, what can I make with ten? Not a stone oven. I could build a windmill. Save it for the blast furnace. Can I make a blast furnace? If so, I can process that one piece of black metal that I've got. The artisan table has a huge range. Okay. Okay, I need more stone. 
more circling course. So I'm going to have to pay attention when I'm out. Do I have five? Barely have enough. Been making too many portals. Need some stone. And then some iron. Excited to see what pops up. I'm glad I've got that tiny little bit of black metal. Go hunt down more fine wood. Black metal. Okay. shield. Black metal shield. Block force 50. Okay, block armor is slightly higher, but that's just level 1 and that's uh, level 3. I've got some really good food. I've still got arrows. I've got health. I'm gonna rest. Wait till morning. And I'm gonna venture into the plains. I'll still go, like, grind for iron and stuff. 
solo. Like, not on the stream. I should take in the hub portal. <laughs> I was gonna try to throw my spear at it. some more of these frost caves. I'm far less interested in them now. <laughs> scary. Do a lot of damage. I'm at the point now where stuff does a lot of damage. <laughs> it's very dangerous. see him. The wolves. I have to keep my eyes peeled for... oh. There's one of the buggers. still over here? I think it is because I bailed so hard. Looks like some. This is, there's a very small amount of planes here. And it runs into black forest. There's more planes over there. Yeah. There's some death mosquitoes over there. Oh god, there's one up here. Well, got it. I 
my carve is still out here, I can try to start harvesting some black metal and bringing it back to base, because I've got... I mean, I'll just be picking it up every time I kill a fueling. Or however you say it. I don't feel bad that I can't get the stuff from that one. I'm hoping I can find a tar pit. More cloud berries. Forty stamina by itself. Holy crap, baskets. Some other critters out here like locks. They're tameable. Wolves are tameable. That's something I'm gonna try to do soon is tame some wolves. Because they'll actually follow you. Oh, there's a lox. So if you've seen me go to the trader. It's those guys. I don't have any idea how dangerous they are. In terms of, like, combat ability. I just know I have to be careful. I don't even know how aggressive. Oh. It looks like pretty. Pretty aggressive. Ow. Okay. Oh. Did I just miss him, or did it do no damage to him? I missed him. That's all it was. Crap. Cape, locks meat. Bunch more cloud berries. Those are hard to see. So all this is just wood. That's where the cloud berries are. Okay. Oops. Hit the wrong key. There's a bunch of cloud berries. I'm scooping these up. Dibs. I 
to figure out where Flax is. How I get that. Any of that kind of stuff. Give me all these cloud berries, baby. Oh. Where is he? He's up there with a the torch. Saw some fire spitting up out of the ground at one point. Oh. Oh. Well, this is dangerous. I should not be going here. I should not be walking over here like I am. but I can't stop. Oh, nope, leaving time. See you later. Death. There's a bunch of death skeetos. I killed the native the native inhab inhabitants, and now they're after me. So I'm feeling I'm gonna have to have like stamina potions or healing potions on standby just to be out here. is still over here. My little boat. It's not. Unless I sailed it further down than I thought I did. The 
got destroyed by something? I don't know. I need to be heading back home. I don't even know what the cloud berries are good for because I was too excited going, ooh, something new, to pay enough attention to it. There's a couple of them coming in. You gonna flank me? I'm gonna try, I see. Find like barley, flax, stuff like that. Well, I know there are closer. Plains biomes than this one, but I think I don't know where a close by Yaglith is. I don't know where one is at all, so. Um, can't teleport. I don't have a boat. I don't have anywhere to put it. There's no point coming all the way out here just for that. Just for the six or eight, however many it was. Pretty sure I've seen a couple of villages. I think there's one that's just on the way to um, one of the areas that I visit. Tell you what, Wolf, you are far less scary now. <laughs> the two star wolves, uh, still dangerous. As long as night doesn't happen while I'm out here. There's the altar.
why I've been forgetting about the hub teleporter. out here. Me doesn't even have a description, I've just noticed. I think that's going to wrap it up for the evening. I want to thank y'all so much for dropping by and checking it out. Uh, I'll be live again on Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Doing more Valheim. Do, exploring the planes a little bit more. So make sure you drop by and check it out. But thanks again for watching the stream. Bye everyone. Have a great rest of your night. <laughs>